Hey everyone, I'm Emma Hamza, a chemical engineering student from NJIT. I'm one of the female STEM mentors for STEM for Success. Did you know that you can fit your entire body through just an index card? Yep, your entire body can fit through this. And all you need is scissors, a marker, and an index card or a similar size piece of paper. So this experiment is fairly simple. All you need to do is make a couple cuts in the index card. I will be drawing on the index card to make it easier to see where to cut, and I suggest you do as well for the first couple times. To start, take your index card and put it in half lengthwise, pressing along the edge so it will lay flat. Turn it, and then you're going to take one of your markers and start marking lines of where you're going to cut. The first line closest to the edge is going to start from the folded side and go down. Make sure your line does not go all the way to the bottom. Now you're going to go the opposite direction for the next line. Continue this pattern down the index card. The closer you draw your lines together, the easier it will be to fit through the index card later. It's okay if your lines aren't perfectly straight, it's just a guide. The last line you want to be in the same direction as the first line, coming down from the folded edge. Now you're going to cut along the lines you just drew. Make sure as you cut you do not go all the way through to the other side of the index card. Now that you've finished making those cuts, you're going to take the index card and unfold it. Make sure you're doing this slowly and gentle so you don't rip anything.
and lay your index card flat. Now you're gonna draw a line down the center of where you're gonna cut next. Important note, do not cut through the ends. If you cut through the ends, this experiment will not work. Now cut through this center line. Avoiding the end. It's easier if you go through and cut section by section. Once you're finished cutting, all you have to do is stretch it open. Now you have a stretchable loop that you can fit your body through. So how does changing the shape of the index card allow you to go through it? Is it even the same index card? Well, yes, we just changed some of its properties. This can be best explained with some math. With simple polygons such as rectangles, a bunch of rectangles can have the same area but look very different because they have different perimeters. You can change these dimensions without affecting the area as long as the base times the height continues to have the same area. For the index card, it still has the same area, whether it's just a simple rectangle or a long chain, which if you look at closely, it's just a bunch of connected rectangles. The amount of index card you have isn't changing. Since you're just changing some of its properties, you can fit through it. Thank you all for joining us today and participating. We hope you had fun and learned something new. And remember, STEM is in everything we do.